rabbit here. If you've been following the channel for a while, then you might have picked up on the fact that I'm a little bit of a collector of Parkside um, welding equipment. So, if you're interested in those, you might want to take a look at some previous videos. But anyway, I succeeded in finding one of these. And um, basically, this is a stick welder um, that um, is uh, electronics based. So, it has an inverter. And, and the one that I have is um, transformer based. And, um, I had some had some uh, issues using the smaller um, rod sizes with the uh, transformer based solution so we're going to actually unbox this one here and then in a later video run some tests on it put it to use so anyway, let's see what um, what you get in the package Quite nice, quite nice long mains cables, and then you get the classical welding rods. Some of this, um, no, it's a 2.4 millimeter, and then I think it was one millimeter rods. And you get the grounding cable. Tools. Get this brush, and I wouldn't actually ignore this brush. This has actually turned out to be um, very useful, especially if you have little, sm uh, little smaller spaces. I think I've actually been using this, and the, it actually does have a chip hammer end also. So yeah, I can, it's, uh, can recommend that. It's not that bad. And then this is the gloss, the mask, and then you get the instruction manual and this is a really basic mask I would, I would suggest that maybe not the yeah it's a it's a very much an emergency starter thing or if you'd like to have your old friends watching you weld or something then this is actually quite a good solution so you, um, you, you can have a better welding mask and then uh, and your friends can borrow one of these, one of these just to watch you weld side it's supposed to be. <laughs> I think it was on that side, yeah. So just like that. And then the glass is a relatively easy install. So I've actually how many of these do I now have? Three since I've been <laughs> gathering up on parkside welding stuff. Also a plasma cutter. Oh, look, that's damaged. That's got a corner. Snubbed out of it. Oh. What did I do? Did I put it in properly? Did I... Ah! Need to, need to push it down, probably, otherwise it will not oh, go in. There! So that it clicks in properly and that the, the um, little stand comes through. So no, no, it's okay. And then the glass just slips in. So, so now it's installed, ready to go. And as I said, holding that kind of a mask and then trying to do welding with another hand and then you've got your work pieces. Not the nicest, nicest way to work. And the typical grounding cable, the turn cable. Also quite nice and long, so it's reasonable for more work. Area. Which is actually nice that they haven't sort of like pinched money on making these like a half a meter longer. So that's that. And then it has a strip, and I'm assuming this is to set on the unit so you can carry it around. And what else do we have? Okay, so here's the 
just the rod holder. I'm assuming that the grounding, this grounding on the and, um, welding rod holder are actually, um, they're exactly the same as on the transformer welder. Because this actually has the same, pretty much the same amperage rating. It's not that much tougher. Now the nice thing with an inverter or electronics based thick welder is that um, it's um, fairly light. So if you remember from my video on the, on the transformer version, that was quite heavy. So anyway, that's pretty much everything you get. So yeah, I'm off switch in the back. Actually, this is one thing that I thought a bit of a pity. The, the transformer one had the switch on the front. I actually would have liked to have had the main switch on the front. As you see, they, they don't really um, have enough space or spaces, so this is the adjustable. So you can adjust the um, amperage. And I'm assuming that's direct amps. Find out. Read the instructions and... Um, Oh, that's the plus, and that one is grounding. I wonder if this is protected against. <laughs> it's not, not protected against putting the wrong way around. Okay. So this is just, it's got a notch on it, so then you just. You find, you find the notch, you push it in, and then you just turn it, and then you tighten it. So, no big deal there. And then you have the mains cable, really nice thick stuff. You can't get easily damaged when you're messing around in the workplace. As I said, the, the nice thing with electronics is, of course, you can make it compact. And this probably also has the same warnings that Parkside equipment of this caliber usually comes with that basically it, it says that it's not meant for residential um, power outlet usage and you know, lots of stuff about warnings about interference and stuff. And um, my practical tests, in at least in my environment, I have not um, seen said issues or problems actually of any kind. It seems like my my electrical network is even if I have a 220 volt 10 amp mains fuse circuit um, yeah, at least the transformer welder has worked and then um, I have the Parkside MIG welder and that has worked um, and I haven't noticed any side effects on yeah on any of the equipment that I have connected otherwise to the house network like computers or TVs or routers or anything else so nothing has bust so I think maybe the warnings are more like an insurance policy from from Parkside that if anything goes wrong in the terms of d disturbance creation in the electrical network then they can just basically refer to the manual and say oh it's not meant for residential energy or a residential <laughs> electricity network so uh, you, you should be using an industrial one yeah. but anyway okay so this is the, this is the base and pretty much the exact same setup as the transformer one you get the central unit yeah nice long mains cable the stick holder and then the ground cable and then you get a few a few rods yeah. oh and then the mask which i don't think is that useful really you know, not as your main welding mask um yeah so if you um like this unboxing and it was a bit fast then uh, consider hitting the like button um Merch is available if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee also, uh, links are in the description and if you'd like to see this thing put to some, I'll probably do some uh, test welding first uh, and compa or comparative test welding just to see see if this one sparks the, um, or starts the smaller 
electrodes better than what the transformer version does. The transformer version has a problem if you watch my previous video that it has a little bit too low starting voltage so that, that I think is partially to blame for the issues we have. So we'll see maybe by a little bit of tweaking here we can um, even get the small electrodes to, to work properly so that'll be exciting. So anyway if you want to see that make sure you join and I'll see you in the next one.